In this lecture, we want to study the scotch yoke mechanism, which is a variation of the slider crank linkage. Let's start from a typical slider crank mechanism like this. We have already learned that a slider crank linkage is equivalent to a four-bar linkage where the follower link is infinitely long. Now we want to change this slider crank linkage into a scotch yoke mechanism in two steps. Firstly, we replace the coupler number three with a yoke. This yoke is rigidly connected to the slider four from one side and from the other side it has a slot which is a curve whose radius is identical to the length of the previous coupler three. And the pin at the end of link four is constrained to always move along this slot. As you see, the motion of this new system is equivalent to the previous slider crank linkage. In fact, this curved yoke is equivalent to the previous coupler 3 simply because the radius of the curve is the same as the length of the replaced link. If I eliminate the previous coupler 3, this new system is the scotch yoke mechanism with a curved slot. Now in the second step, imagine if the length of the replaced coupler becomes infinity, then the radius of the slot will become infinity. In that case, the curved slot approaches a straight slot, as you see in this simulation. So we could see that a scotch yoke mechanism is a variation of a slider crank linkage whose coupler link is infinitely long. Notice that the pin on a slot joint between link 2 and the yoke can be equivalently replaced by a slider which is pinned to link 2 from one side and has a prismatic joint with the yoke on the other side. Lastly, as you see in this working system, the reciprocating motion of the yoke generates a simple harmonic motion. Therefore, this mechanism is usually used in testing machines in order to make simple harmonic vibrations. 